Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Aries. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I know that you are because that's the intentions you set when you got up today, right, Aries? Listen, yesterday was super duper duper busy. So we didn't get number seven posted up yesterday. Um, today is the eighth, so I'm going to combine seven and eight. So again, even if your life path number is not a seven or eight, you can step into that vibration. If your life path number is a seven or eight, then wonderful, you know exactly what your number is about but let's get into the we know the meaning of a number 11 right and since i skipped number two um when we get to the 11th i'm going to talk about two because one plus one is two right two is the root number of 11 we're not talking about in mathematics we're talking about numerology yes so let's talk about the number 11 11 we know is a gateway the universe is trying to get messages through to you all. Most high God universe and your, some of your ancestors are trying to get messages to, through to you all. So I hope you all are paying attention and I hope that you all are listening. A lot of you all have gotten this whole retrograde down. So the next time you're, you're ruling planet Mars is retrograde Aries, you'll know exactly what, what is happening. You won't get, you won't get, you know, um, stressed out. You won't feel like, oh my God, I just, I can't wait for this retrograde to be over. So a lot of you all have tapped into and you now understand. So thank you for a lot of the wonderful feedback that you all have been giving me about the videos that I've been posting um, as it relates to your, as it relates to your ruling planet being retrograde. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I've been getting tons of emails and text messages and so on and so forth sharing your testimony. You all know that this is a time for you all to really slow down and smell the roses. Slow down and count your blessings. That's why <clears throat> your planet is retrograde right now, right? Really is that time to just kind of sort of just slow down and just, just breathe like, whew, because you all are just go, 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 go. Right, Aries? Just go, go, go. And there's nothing wrong with just going, 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 because you all have that, that great mental dexterity. You all are able to do multiple things at one time, but very, very successfully. And so many people are in awe that you all can do so many things at one time, but do them successfully. And because it's just the norm for you all, you all don't see what other people see in you, right? And so um, let's, let's talk about the number seven for a second. The number seven, and you can step into the number seven vibration. Number sevens have lightning bolt insult, insight, right? Their intuition is crazy. I mean, crazy ridiculous, like in a, in a great way, right? When I say ridiculous, I mean that in a, in a, in a positive way. Um, their, their intuitive downloads, they just, their intuitive downloads just come out of the blue. And so they have... They have these these ideas that come just 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 come to them, and people are like, "What? How do you think of that?" Yeah, that's number sevens. Number sevens often their presence are really to soothe and to heal people, right? They really really are change agents, and also they experience sudden and profound shifts in their lives and that really really take them by surprise like when we think about you hear people say oh lucky number seven when you're talking about um certain games and things like that lucky number seven things just happen things just you know just all of a sudden just just happen in their favor right now let's talk about the number eight the number eight vibration of is a vibration of leadership strength abundance financial security and power so if your life path number is an eight hey you know, if you're not successful and you're not financially secure, it's time to raise those vibrations, right? Also, number eight represents the energy exchange of money. And so it is also aligned with business. Um, a lot of you are entrepreneurs. A lot of you all have an entrepreneurial spirit. You all are visionaries. You are leaders. And so, I'm, you know, I've been hearing a lot of you all sending, well, a lot of you all have been sending me text messages saying that you're starting your business. You're going back to school. Things are working out in your love life. So many wonderful things. You know why, Aries? Because you all have taken advantage of this retrograde and said, you know what? I'm going to slow down and look at all the blessings around me. I'm not going to focus on the burdens because they are there. And I'm talking about burdens could be from people who are vibrating on a different frequency than you, um, negative family members, whatever, the takers. I'm not, going to, I'm not going to give them my energy anymore. I'm going to focus my energy on what matters most. And that's keeping me at a high vibration, right? Yes. So number eights 
are um, really, really meant to lead in some capacity. Let's get into your reading. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Aries. As it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of money and wealth, also in areas of creativity and emotions, also in areas of spirituality and where they need to take action, and also in areas of power and intellect. What information do we have from our wonderful Aries? Yes. Matter of fact, I am burning right now my um, in my diffuser right now. I have some lemon oil, lemon essential oil in there. Mm -hmm. We know Aries, that solar plexus chakras for y'all. Getting them all in line, feeling great about life. Right, Aries? I know you are. Yes. Listen, y'all, I was just watching a movie, right? Well, I... <laughs> have y'all ever watched movies? Well, I'm spreading these cards out. Have y'all ever watched movies where y'all literally felt like y'all was a part of the cast? Like y'all was actually in the movie? So I was watching this movie. And um, there were some girls that were trying to swim away from a shark. And I'm like, swim, swim, swim. You know, you know how you're talking to the screen, yelling at the screen, swim, swim. Come on, girl, swim. You know, swim, swim harder, <laughs> swim faster. Somehow you see the shark in a distance, and he's like, do do, do do, do do, do do, do do, do do. Here come the shark. Uh huh. And um, you know, captures one of the girls. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Anyway, all into the movies. Let's get into your cards. Let's get into your reading because that should be getting way too. Yep. Okay, I know I'm not the only person that really get into movies like that. You know, y'all singing with the person that's singing. Y'all dancing with the person that's dancing. Y'all screaming and yelling at the screen. Okay, maybe it's just me. Anyway, so listen. A lot of you all have moved on, whether it's moved on to another new relationship, new job, whatever. And right now, this is where you are. Laser focused on yourself, right? Laser focused on your goals. And I'm talking about you all are getting it, right? That's what I'm talking about, Aries. You're trying to balance life out right now. Look at you. We got the two of pentacles. Your your strength has been doubled, the two. Double strength, right? Double strength has been happening um, to you all. Now, a lot of you all, as a result of having been hurt in a relationship because you found out some stuff, you found out a secret, something was exposed in the relationship, whatever it was, whatever was exposed, you all are kind of like this, right? And you almost felt like your power, um, it almost knocked your solar plexus chakras out of alignment, like with your power and your identity. You just almost felt like, oh my God, I can't even believe, you know how like somebody, you ever heard somebody say it knocked the wind out of them or they felt like they were sucker punched? That's how it happened where you all found found out this secret, right? And so naturally you go into this. I'm not really sure who I can trust. See that snake trying to slither away? Mm -hmm. But here you are, cool, calm, and collected. Mm -hmm. But you still internally, you really, really don't trust as you should, right? I want you all to know that you all don't need to be guarded because you all are protected. I want you to know that, right? So do you see this snake trying to get away? But this person still doesn't really, they don't really trust their choices because of what happened in the past. And I'm going to tell you something. If you've ever been sucker punched through, from life, we're not talking about physical sucker punch. We're talking about, you know, you just felt like the rug was just snatched from up under you. It's kind of hard to kind of sort of pull some things together. A lot of you all have left relationships. You left all their baggage behind. You just took yours and you said, I'm moving forward. Okay. I can't carry mine and carry yours. And you just moved on with your life, right? So, which is a great thing, which is an absolute wonderful thing. We know that you're compassionate. We already know that, Aries. So you don't even have to prove that. You don't have to walk around. You don't have to walk around with the "Hi, I'm compassionate" sign. <laughs> you don't have to walk around and say, "Hi, my name is nice." <laughs> "Hi, my name is friendly." You don't have to say all of that. Your spirit speaks for yourself, for itself, right? So you don't need to say all of that. So when you come in contact with people who, where you feel like life has just really sucker punched you. Or you just feel like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and look out for numero uno. I'm going to look out for myself. I am going to get my chakras realigned. I'm going to get everything balanced back out again. I'm going to live my best life. And I'm going to take some time for me. This is what this person is doing right here. They're like, you know what, 
I kind of want to dip my foot back, my toe back into the dating pool just a little bit, but I'm not really sure because of my last relationship. And guess what? That's entirely okay. Don't let the fact that you may be older limit you, your skin color limit you, your sex limit you, your orientation limit you. None of those things should limit you because guess what? It's going to feel like when you meet the right person, when you are connected to the person on your frequency it's, or the job on your frequency or whatever it is on your frequency, it's going gonna, it's gonna to feel like time slowed down for you. Like just time is just suspended, not only slowed down, but I'm talking about completely suspended. Like, ooh, okay, okay, I feel like there was no time lost at all. We know that time is an illusion, but a lot of times people like to use time as a measurement, right? So, yes, let's see what else the rest of these cards have to say. Ooh, yes. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Aries. Ooh. Listen, they're not ready for the 2.0 U. I'm serious. Look at you manifesting money. The big coins and not just the regular coins. We're talking about legacy wealth. Go with your bad self, Aries. Look at y'all. <laughs> Life all balanced out. Listen, I would recommend, look, you're know, working real hard for your money, getting paid, doing good, right? So I'm seeing a lot of, I see a lot of coins here. This is how you used to be. Really, really stressed out in that relationship. When I say relationship, I'm not talking about all love relationships. I'm talking about, and I'm talking about, I'm not talking about all love romantic relationships. Let's be clear. Because some people had horrible relationships in the workplace, right? Professional relationships, some relationships in the family. Where it just had you stressed out, right? Just dying for some freedom. That's what those birds represent. Look at the birds um, on his shoulder talking about, you want to be free, don't you? <laughs> Look at the bird. The bird is like, free, free. You want to be free. Don't you want to be free like me? And the person in this picture is like, yes, how do I get to freedom? I just can't take it no more, right? You know what, Aries? Listen, y'all going to stop staying in relationships a little bit too long, sabotaging yourselves. You're going to stop staying in these relationships a little too long, a day over what you all should have, you know, you know, you should have been left that relationship, should have been cut that person off. You're going to stop staying in these relationships a moment longer than you should, okay? No more sabotaging yourself, okay? This retrograde has taught a lot of you all a lot. Like, okay, let me go ahead and get on my grind. Let me go ahead and find out. Let me tap into my gifts and do what I'm supposed to do. I'm not sabotaging myself anymore. Look at those birds, again, representing freedom. Those birds are like, why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you sabotaging yourself? This is you. This could be you. But you keep sabotaging yourself, right? This is you in the past, right? We're not talking about right now. This is you in the past. Look at these birds in here. Look at all these birds representing freedom. Look at this bird screaming, freedom, right? This bird is like, okay, okay. That's how your personal power felt like you were attacked because you just felt like, and look at this bird right here. Look at that wingspan. Okay, you better run towards your freedom. So all these messages were coming through to you all and what you all were looking at was in the third dimension. You were looking at all the things around you, focusing on the wrong thing, but not anymore. Look at you, wish fulfillment. You're so happy you don't know what to do with yourself. <laughs> Look. Some of, some of y'all went to sleep and heard this bird. Some of y'all seen birds in y'all dreaming. This bird was like, don't you want to be free? Don't you want to be free? Freedom. Freedom. And finally, you said, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just, listen, I'm going to remove these shackles. I'm going to remove these blindfolds. I'm going to be like this. Clarity of thought. I'm not playing around anymore. And look at this. Look where you are right now. Mm -hmm. Free. Free. Happy. Fulfilled. Just on fire fire. That's what I'm talking about. A lot of these testimonies that you all have been sending to me, not only are you free, look, the majority of the cards here, because you know, I love numbers. The majority of the cards, we have 50% of the cards. I want to say we have, uh, we have a large percent of the cards. Hold on. Let me put this in order right here, right? 
the smallest percentage of the cards was this right here. This is all you had to do was leave. That's all you had to do. When I tell you the, the moment that you left, everything opened up for you. Your power and your intellect came back. Your money came back. Your emotions felt better. You know, you felt better emotionally all the way around. All you had to do was this. Realign that solar plexus chakra. That's what you had to do. Uh-huh. Your personal power and your identity. I'm telling you, Aries, listen, stop staying in relationships too long with people. I'm serious. Y'all have to get comfortable with cutting people off. Just letting them go. Letting them be free. Freeing yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Listen, I have some affirmations for you. I have affirmation. I am truth embodied. My soul is my true home. I live to share the light of wisdom. Right. Yes. I am enriched by helping to enrich others. You know who you are, Aries. You know exactly who you are. I need you all, for those of you all um, who are feeling like you're still in bondage, still, still sabotaging yourselves. You don't have to be this person right here. You know, this bird has been telling you, you all have been, some of you all have been seeing birds fly above. You're like, what does that bird mean? That bird represents freedom sitting right on your shoulder, coming through you in dreams. You're sitting outside seeing birds fly above. You're like, wait a second. All of a sudden, those birds have been flying above. Birds fly all the time, but this time you actually noticed it. You're like, what do these birds mean? It means freedom. All you have to do is this, leave a situation. For some of you all who don't even realize that you're sabotaging yourself, guess what the universe does? The universe frees you anyway, will create a situation where you have no choice but to move on, right? It may feel uncomfortable. It may feel like, why are these people attacking me? Why do these people hate me? Why? Because the universe is creating a situation for you all to move on to financial freedom, to joy, to peace, to love, to vibrating at your highest frequency. I hope you all are hear what I'm saying, right? Another positive affirmation is I give everything to inspire others to be the best that they can be. My deeds are an expression of wealth and well-being, right? You're inspiring people to be stronger around you. Don't stay in relationships, whether it's work relationships, love relationships. I don't care what the situation is. Do not stay in situations longer than required, just to say you're a nice person, we already know that. We already know that you're nice. You don't have to walk around with a name tag on. Your spirit already told us. You're a nice person. You're kind. You're this. You're all these wonderful things. But I can tell you this. Staying in a relationship too long will cause you to vibrate at a low frequency. It will cause people to say that you're selfish, that you're attention-seeking, that you have outbursts of anger, that you have lack of patience, that you have very impulsive behavior. You don't want to be that Aries. <clears throat> Trust me, Aries, you don't want to be that Aries. So that's what I have for you. Let me tell you, you don't, want, you don't want the life where you're sitting around sabotaging yourself. This is the life that you want. This is the life that you want. Legacy wealth, you know, working hard for what you want, going after for what, what you want. Look at all these pentacles cards. Life feel like you're, it's balanced out. There are some people that are meant to be in your life, and there's some people that are simply not meant to be in your life. You know, you gotta gotta come to terms. Not everybody's meant to go, you know, go. Look, I want you to see this. Not everybody is meant to travel this journey with you. They're not. They're just not. So you gotta drop them off at every stop. At every see these lights right here? These lights are telling you, okay, light bulb coming on. You gotta drop a couple of people off. Some people you're picking up on the journey because you're on the same frequency, but there are some people you need to drop off. And don't be shocked and surprised when you have to drop them off. Here's the next light. Ding, 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 trying to tell you, you got to drop some people off, okay? Here's the next one. Drop some more people off. You know what I'm saying? Look at you, traveling on at every mark. There's some people you're going to have to drop off. You're going to have to drop off their baggage. You're going to drop them off. It could be family members. It could be friends. It could be jobs. It could be love relationships. It could be whatever, romantic love relationships. 
No matter what it is, I need you all to look out for numero uno. That's what I have for you, Aries. Have a great day. Bye.